Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You get full access to our technical analysis for the commodities market. That is basically all the commodities are, that are available on eToro and you'll get access to our signal service and also our live trades. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically fallen off a cliff in the US dollar index in the re recent months. So at this point, we are at the edge of being oversold. And we haven't been this far, um, this low in the US dollar index since 2017. You can scroll all the way back we can see that the last time we were here was all the way back in 2017, where we also basically fell off a cliff. We rallied back then and then continue even further uh, or even lower to all the way down to um, 87.9. Um, so we may see a similar to move this time. It is um, fairly expected because we are over oversold so we may go down to these uh, previous lows from 2017 and then rally up towards the 50 moving average before uh, we go even lower and um, if we rally from here then of course that will be very negative for example for oil that was will be very negative uh, for uh, for gold indices stocks and so on so keep an eye out for the us dollar index a rally from in the us dollar index usually means the opposite uh, reaction in the commodities markets precious metals and indices and so on so we'll start by looking at oil and as you can see we have fallen quite a bit in the last uh, five to six trading session we are trading at 44.20 so at this point, we're heading towards the 20 moving average, 20 exponential moving average. But I think that at this point, these previous highs will offer a lot of support. And as you can see, we are already starting to pull back when we get close to this. However, if we break these previous highs uh, from, from September or end of August, that opens the door to the 20 exponential, that's at 42.9. And if that breaks, that opens the door to these previous highs, and that is roughly 41.7, and the 50 moving average at 40.7. Uh, of course, if that breaks, that opens the door to much lower levels, all the way down to 36.8. And um, so keeping out for oil, we have been rallying, and most of this rally has been due to vaccine news that has basically been uh, priced in at this point these technical indicators are looking very bearish at this uh, at this stage we only need the macd to cross the signal line and this will basically open the floodgate to much lower levels so we'll start by then we'll look at that gas So as you can see, we have tried to rally up towards the 50 moving average. We have been rejected every single time. And usually when you get rejected this often at the 50 moving average, when you try to break out from here, that opens the door to much lower levels. So we have been creating lower lows here and here. And I think what is going to happen is that we're going to go even lower towards 2.5. And that will just create another low but until we get towards the 200 moving average, there will be find quite significant support in this market. We may also uh, turn around at the 2.5 because these previous lows here are going to act as major uh, support in this market. So this may well be the bottom of the market around this range here. So we'll fall down towards 2.7, 2.5 and then rally again. So this is all depending on whether or not the weather conditions in the United States or technically around the world will uh, will um, we'll have a cold winter. If we have a cold winter, then of course this will rally. If it's going to be a warm winter, then of course this will fall. So at this stage, technical indicators for for natural gas are looking well. They're flat and they're also bearish. So this is not a good sign. And that we have been rejected this often at the 50 moving average is also a very bad sign for 
this market. So I have no interest in basically buying this or selling this. I basically need to see where this is going to turn around. And if it turns around at the 2.5, then of course it will be interesting to invest in this market. So let's look at gold. So gold has rallied quite significantly this week. We are trading now above the 200 moving average. We have fallen back a little bit, trading at the 1808. And at the stage, we'll probably go a little bit higher. We'll probably go all the way up towards the 20 exponential at the 1841. And if that breaks, then we'll head towards the 50 moving average at 1878. And um, if that breaks, of course, then we'll go much higher. But keep an eye out for the US dollar index. If that starts to appreciate, then this and that will open the floodgate for here for this market to 1750 and then to 1700. So as long as we're above the 200 moving average, we are fairly safe. Then 200 moving average is acting as support. But if that breaks again, then that could open the door to much lower levels. Technical indicators for gold are looking, uh, well, they're looking better. CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, and the MACD is about to turn around. But if the MACD gets rejected here, then, then watch out below, because then we are going much lower. We are on the edge of being oversold, uh, fairly, at 39. So keep an eye out, at least for the US dollar index, because that will determine what happens in this market. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support this channel by subscribing, hitting the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.